was always one arguing with teachers. You gave me homework. I'm like, I'm not doing this. I saw some of my friends debating. And I'm like, well, this sounds cool. I was missing a lot of class and just acting up. And the coach always saw me fighting and arguing with people. So he, for some reason, thought I would be a good member of the debate team. I didn't really want to do it at first. First time of debate, they tell you, like, you're never going to be 100% prepared. The first time I walked in the room, I got completely obliterated because I had no idea what I was doing, what I was reading, what I was saying. And it actually made me work harder in a way because then it made me like want to learn basic elements of debate. When I started, they had me in a room reading a card at the top of my voice, making sure that when I'm up there, I don't get so nervous that you could barely hear me speak. So you're in there, you're reading that loud, practically yelling. And then you read your argument, and then the coaches, they would just come up with the argument off the top of their head. They would just ask me, like, well, what would you say if uh, your opponent was to say this? It's good to be quick with your counter-argument, but sometimes if you can't, you still try, and that's what you do in practice. And You pick a topic out of hat, and they give you two or three minutes, and you just get up and speak on that and just be in front of everybody, and everybody would have to do it. So everybody started thinking on their feet. Well, my coach used to make me do five cards a night which would be like five separate arguments. I would have to sit up on the computer for hours, just look for something that would be kind of hard to answer, or just something that would make the point good. Once you really start getting into debate, you find that it's hard, but it makes you feel better because that means that's more stuff that you know. And it's a more like that you're gonna be able to answer a question that opponent throws at you, even if they think that you didn't know the answer to it before. And you have to make sure that you're researching for, for one specific thing. Like if you're reading a book, you don't get sidetracked by different details. You really try to stick to what you're trying to research. It takes a lot of work and a lot of time, especially. Based on a lot of the stuff you learn, you get to see how everything really is and not like what it looks like. They're saying one thing, but they're meaning something else. But you'll catch on to a lot of stuff like that once you become more entrenched in the being. It does make you more critical in a sense when you're speaking or thinking about things. I would always argue with the teacher. If, say if I disagreed on something, I'm just like, well, you're wrong, I don't care, shut up, leave me alone. But now it's just like, well, Mr. or Mrs., whoever, I think you're wrong because, and I'm not going to be as formal as like a goody two-shoe, but I have more information or more proof to back up my argument instead of just yelling. Debate is a whole disagreement in itself. Like you go in the room and you argue, and there's going to be people that take you off and they expect you to be a certain way no matter how you're confronted about anything. It just changes the way you approach people in everyday situations. What makes us think that every country... In English, I would just read something, and then two seconds later, I just like, what did I just read? But when you're in debate, that's one of the key things that you need to know. You have to be able to comprehend what you read or what somebody else is reading. Like, when you're talking and when you're forming your arguments, it helps me articulate myself. It helps me write better. There's a lot of the stuff you read, you probably won't understand it at first, but then you start looking up the words and you begin to understand what they mean. You just talk with people on a different level. You actually read a lot more. You become more intrigued in other people's theories or like their, their philosophies on how things should be or how they are actually. It's different. When you go in there and you actually start to do it, you're into your own zone and you have to keep your grades up. That meant like I couldn't keep getting suspended or detention because that takes away from practice. Before, I'm just like, I didn't have any clue I was going after high school. Now, I feel like I have to do more research because it helps me out in the long run. My grades increased tremendously and the, the season's over and it's my last year. But I already got into that habit and that work ethic, so it's going to stick with me. In a sense, you have an upper hand on a lot of people. It's good for yourself like to know these things. You learn a lot of stuff that people should be knowing about, but actually don't. Good afternoon, respected jury members, my learned opponents. I shall extend a line of argument for the well-being of our planet. With that, I rest my case.